Howdy RC Aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yatesman. I draw stuff. In today's hashtag HR Giga Challenge video, I will be showing you some of the base elements I like to use when drawing in a biomechanical style. These will mostly involve drawing things such as pipes and body parts. I'll explain a little about what can be used where and at the end of this video present another primer page and also what you can accomplish using a program such as Photoshop. Firstly, when drawing biomechanical environments or creatures, I like to use the following two design elements. The oval element represents exposed muscle, while the second one is good for detailing edges of surfaces, spines, tails and limbs. I will tend to shade one side of the oval in the muscle darker than the other. I will also detail the lines so they appear to be tubes with a circular cross section. If I was to zoom in on the tube or draw them on their own, you would get the tube or pipe that I drew below these. The top oval is a variant on the muscle where rather than pipes, the striations are detailed with little arcs, so they are not so much pipes as ripples. Here you may elect to merge the muscle into the exoskeleton as I have done with more pipes. A variant of the limb detail are these two, where you add lines which curve around the surface you are detailing. This gives form and also can indicate tendons, membranes or bony segmentation depending on how you shave. The inset muscle striations can either be perpendicular or parallel to the limb's orientation. To give large surfaces some detail with not much effort, I make use of this sort of texture which is meant to show either pipes, membranes, muscles or dried goop. Next I am drawing a more detailed element, one you might find on a shoulder joint. Here I have riffed on some of the previously described star tour elements to show you what can be done with them. The exposed muscle is a slight variant on what I have shown and you can see how I have included ridges and overlapping lines to build up the shape. The next drawing is meant to show how you might indicate external bones and is similar to how the rib cage is represented in Geiger's Giga's Alien. This is how I drew the rib cage for a dog in this style. After an image element, you can see how effective it is just to add a lot of parallel lines to an object to create texture. The eye I am drawing has a reptilian feel to it. With my biomechanical style, I draw inspiration for the exoskeletons from lizards and insects when not directly referencing Giga's work. That gives us the style of the eye. To finish off the primer, I am drawing a few terminations for either toes, fingers, tails or possibly even tongues. Here you can go pretty much nuts with your imagination. If you want to imply a sexual aspect, even better. The semicircle cutouts I use a lot on pipes and surfaces. They can be used to show entrances or exposed muscle or perhaps where hairs may or may not protrude. This element is a blending of Giga's style and details of insect carapaces. For a wall you might use an element such as this one and repeat it. Here what I am going for is a bony structure linked by either more bones or perhaps muscle or membrane. The next element shows some bony protrusions which as you can see in the praying mantis I flipped to can be used to great effect. The final element is a curved pipe on which there is a translucent membrane. This is pretty much what you see sitting above the shoulder of Giga's alien. Here are all the elements shown clearly after being scanned in. A good mix is shown of pipes, textures and bones. You could chop these out in Photoshop and then copy them into a biomechanical canvas. I find this works best with tracing paper which is what I drew the next set of elements on. After scanning this in, using Photoshop's pen tool to chop out the components can lead to pretty good layering effects as the tracing paper has a nice texture to it that you tend not to get from the scan of the sketch pad. 
For example, this first image was created mainly from elements drawn on a sketch pad. Overall, the work is very clean. The two tracing pad components, being the needle and the skull, you will observe have a little bit more texture. Taking this further, this image I made in Photoshop from elements from the tracing paper scan I showed you. It is very much a copy and paste, rinse and repeat job where the uppermost layer is brown and set to soft light. That gives the tracing paper a brown hue in spots and really helps with the texture of the circles, tubes and muscle. The skulls look a bit muddy as I also use a multiply layer on a duplicate for those. Have a go at the biomechanical style yourself and share your efforts with me in the comments or via one of my social media accounts. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you are inspired to draw on your own sketchbook or journal, etc., or even do a video like this, I subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, and until next time, take care.